Now, what we're going to do now is to find a specific term in your binomial expansion. So this time around, we are actually going to ask you to find the middle term given this. Alright, so you have 2 plus x squared over 2 to the power 10. Of course, you could actually do the expansion, but that will take a long time and uh, you might not have the time to do everything. But if you're really stuck, that's what you can do. Now, when you have power of 10, right? In other words, it means that you have all these terms, alright? 10 choose 0, 10 choose 1, 10 choose 2, all the way until 10 choose 10. Now, if you actually count, it's actually power of 10, but you actually have 11 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, there were 11 terms all together. And because there are 11 terms, it is possible to have a middle term, alright? So, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this one is actually the middle term. Alright, so you will realize that if a question asks you for the middle term, it must be that it will be an even power here. Because of the choose zero, you will have an extra term here. So even powers, you will have an odd number of terms. Alright, so now that we know that it's going to be a term starting with 10 choose 5, it's going to make it very easy for us. So we know that it's going to be 10 choose 5. So what goes into the first bracket? The first term, which is 2. What goes into the second one? x squared over 2. And since this is 5, I will know that this is 5 as well. Alright? And since my maximum is 10, 10 minus 5 will give me 5. Alright? So this is what we have. And what we can do now is to actually evaluate this. So 10 choose 5. Alright? 10 choose 5. It's going to give me 252. Two. So I will have 252. Two. 2 to the power of 5 will give me 32. Alright? And this one here, x squared, when you is power of 5, so I'll be able to have it as x to the power of 10. And here, 2 to the power of 5 again will give me 32. Simplifying, you realize that 32 and 32 will divide each other out, so I'm only left with 252 x to the power of 10. So if they're asking you for the term, you will write everything out. Now, occasionally, they may actually ask you for the coefficient. Alright, so if this is the case, you are going to write out as 252 without the x to the power of 10. If it's with the x to the power of 10, then the question will have asked you for the term.